Hello everyone, I'm Courtney Dehoff, sitting in for Rob McClendon. Oklahoma's first brush with the fruit of the vine predates statehood in 1907 when growing grapes and making wine were part of settling the frontier. Vineyards and wineries have since blossomed across the state, creating the vibrant industry. Today we examine the Oklahoma wine industry and we begin in southeast Oklahoma with dreams of great wine and girly accommodations Three broken bow women decided to give people a taste of Oklahoma wine and a good time. Three best friends and a couple bottles of wine later, three broken bow women decided to pour themselves into the wine industry. Their husbands first. With no experience and nothing but a love for good wine, they became girls gone wine. At the worst, we thought we'll have a lot of wine. We can drink the fruits of our labor. We'll sit on our pink leather sofa and uh, watch, Sex watch, and the City. watch chick flicks yeah. and hope we have a customer or two. Michelle Chardin. Finch, Rhonda Reed, and Chandra Ricky are Pinot the three Green. friends behind the store it's they say is all center. about you know, having fun. In the door. It's, it's fun to come to work. It's fun. It's the time for us three to get together. And it's a place for girlfriends to meet. Okay. And we have um, girls groups come here all the time and kind of schedule mm -hmm. their impromptu meetings, whatever that may be. Uh, and like our label says, a place to, to make new friends, meet old friends, mm -hmm. and have fun. It's all about friendships and relationships and having a good time with that. Variety. I, I think they really From those friendships come one-of-a-kind stories that make one-of-a-kind labels for their unique wine. The most fun has been almost all of the whole, everything we've decided came over several glasses or a glass or two or several of wine. Um, oftentimes around Rhonda's kitchen table in the early days of, we're gonna have a red, oh, let's have a road trip red. And we'd make up the name of that particular one. All of the labels are artwork by Oklahoma's official caricature artist, Teresa Farrington and Poto, another woman. That's kind of our theme. So she would send the, she would send the mess. We would send her an email with, um, you know, what is the next idea? And we'd say, well, we kind of see us in a convertible Thelma and Louise style scarves flying road trip red. Everybody loves our labels and, and they enjoy it when the new label comes out. I think they're as excited about the label as they are the variety of the wine. And they want to know the story behind each label. Yeah. So right. every, every label has a story. And while every label has a story, so does the wine inside the bottle. So there's that. Uh, we literally rolled up our sleeves and made that first batch just uh, bailed off into it, yeah, so to yeah. speak. So yeah, we had about 400 a... bottles of wine we had when we opened the doors yeah. on April Fool's Day. Yeah, and and so... then we quickly realized we had to start making more. Absolutely. Uh, my husband, Terry's the winemaker. Making beer and wine are a lot alike. He's our wine guy. Wine stud is now what uh, He was the wine him. boy first, and then we gave him a promotion to wine stud. But he's the one who marched in the door and said, ladies, after just probably a month, maybe, yeah. he said, uh, we're going to have to make wine and make all the wine we can make. And uh, he, he's really kept us ahead of the curve. Over a million tourists a year come to this area of Broken Bow Lake Beaver's Bend State Park. So they were coming. We weren't sure they would come here, but we knew they were coming to the area. So we put up two large billboards, Girls Gone Wine, um, and just opened the doors. And literally, people were looking for that something to do after they get off the lake and off the hiking trails. You know, uh, once I heard a tourism conference in Missouri years ago, you just have to have enough cash registers to make tourists happy. Tourists come to vacation to spend their money, and they need plenty of places, places to do that. And so we gave them one more cash register. And as tourists right. continue to pour into the area, wine isn't the only thing these girls have to offer. And of course, it's just that. The gift shop is a big part of this. Uh, it's a sassy, fun girlfriend's gift shop, and people don't find those the kinds of items that are offered in the store just everywhere to be a collect. You know, we have women that tear through here and just, we finally bought little shopping baskets because people's arms were full of gifts. and. Um, mm -hmm. It's been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> One crazy idea that turned into a tourist destination, all about drinking wine and having a good time. 